people in government are working in a new way. It plays to the instinct that we all have to collaborate with others and shape what we do around the people that we care about. In 2020, I put together a multidisciplinary team from 11 organisations across the UK government to show how policymakers can make policies and services that are meaningful to citizens. How inclusive are your own views and your own, opi- your own opinions and your own experiences in solving problems by yourself? The argument for working in this way is all to do with the impact it has on the citizen. Being able to mix things up, to bring in uh, different voices, to stress test our techniques and our approaches, that's the way that we can bring some creativity to these problems that have been hard to shift, that are complex or, or wicked, and we need different tools to approach them. You know, I'd heard of of a lot of this sort of user-centered design techniques and and I guess role types before um, an agile an agile way of working, running an agile project, um, and I guess I was always a little bit I, I don't know whether to use the word cynical or intimidated, maybe a combination of both, um, being naive beforehand, but actually. Um, when started in the project and having, in hindsight, you know, looking at it holistically, um, I think those prior assumptions were largely unfounded. I think the value to leaders is that, that you, you'll come up with some excellent advice for your ministers um, that's based on understanding the problem. And what I've heard over and over again over the last few years of working on um, improving policy making and I've heard this from ministers and ex-ministers is that they really value people who know what they're talking about and now there's a few ways you can go about knowing what you're talking about one is to be in a job for 10 years and that's one of the things that I realize we're looking at but actually if you pull together a team of experts um, who can both bring their own expertise and can really well uh, can collect evidence and bring that together really well you can very quickly um, build an understanding of a problem and build some advice around that that is legitimate and compelling and credible actually the big thing we're trying to do across government is change our approach and the way of working we're trying to introduce um, system thinking, user-centered design, agile, and we can't go and do work for policy teams. We need to be immersed in teams together. Um, otherwise, we're just going to keep the knowledge ourselves and then policy people will keep working the way they're working. I think we need to merge ideas and resources and expertise and figure out how to work together. It's really powerful. What I found um, most enjoyable about this, about this project or projects like this, um, is the um, is the opportunities you have to network Um, because you've never met these people before. They're all from different departments, different grades, different backgrounds, different experiences. Um, As I said earlier, you know the 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 diaspora of the people involved was absolutely amazing so for me that was that was the biggest aspect of this project i would strongly consider building a multidisciplinary team around it because you would bring in different perspectives different um people with different um experience and also you would bring in a real uh, a real variety and richness to your research and evidence base you learn a lot in terms of project management um in terms of team working Um, And there are lots of transferable skills within this project that I learned that will stand me in good stead from my civil service career. So I will highly recommend it to others. Successful teams are already working like this. They're already doing, they're already talking to users. They're already um, collaborating um, across silos with their colleagues. 
What user-centered design does is it codifies a lot of that stuff. It, it just makes it easier. It gives a shared language. Um, it provides like a series of tools, especially now that we're all having to go remote. It just makes it makes doing the good stuff easier to do. It's stimulating. It's motivating. It's inspirational. It's really enjoyable. Um, um, and you just learn so much more. You just you know um virtual multidisciplinal discipline teams are fabulous I've, I've met i've met so many people i've heard talked to people from so many backgrounds all from sitting in this chair um i've been part of something big something i've made a change i've, I've been uh, a small cog in a very big um something big and that really feels good <laughs>